Hello friends, so welcome to the part 2 tutorial for making of a squid game in scratch. So if you are new to this tutorial, please go through the part 1 of the tutorial first. And for the others, uh, let's start. So last time we just uh, made this uh, beautiful background and the penguin or the doll to rotate according to whether it is a red light or a green light. So if we click on the green flag then if it's a red light then it just turns towards the ground and if it is a green, red, green light it uh, turns away from the ground and the wait time for red light and green light are also different so for the red light it is 1.9 to 4.1 seconds so it just picks random numbers from that and if it is a green light then the it is 1.6 to 3.9 sec seconds randomly so that's how we uh, made uh, uh, this doll to rotate and just wait for the random amount of time. And now let's uh, just make the player sprite. So the player is sprite is going to move if we press the right arrow. So let's uh, make the player sprite. So for that let's uh, just go to the choose a sprite option and let's uh, search for our cat. The default cat sprite will be our player sprite cat cat so this one so this is our player sprite so let's start so when uh, let's go to the events block and just drag when green flag click block and first of all let's uh, decrease the size of the cat it's a little bit larger so let's go to the looks menu and just uh, drag a uh, set size block below the uh, green flag and just uh, let's make its size to 60 percent so if we click in the green flag its uh, size is 60 percent and that's what we want and let's drag this cat or the player sprite here in the middle of the stage um, like this this is the starting position of the sprite so let's go to the motions menu and drag a go to xy block and place it below the set size block like this so whenever the cat is misplaced or the player is misplaced if you click on the green flag it will go just back to its initial position and now let's make the cat move or the player sprite move for that let's just go to the events menu and let's uh, just drag the win space key press block and instead of space key we are going to just select the right arrow so when we place the right arrow it's the cat is starts moving so we can just uh, use the motions um, uh, menu and just drag a move 10 steps here but before that we have to check whether it is a red light or a green light for that let's go to the control menu and drag an if else block like this here and let's just check if the light is red or green so for that let's go to the operators menu and drag uh, equals to operator inside the if block like this <clears throat> and let's go to the variables menu and just drag the light variable inside here and instead of 50 we are going to check for green light so if it is a green light then the player is allowed to move so let's make that happen uh, for that let's go to the motions menu and drag a move 10 steps block inside the if block like this so instead of moving 10 steps we will just move for 5 steps and to give the illusion of walking effect uh, we are going to go to the looks menu and also change the costume so we just drag the next costume block below the move five step block like this so whenever it is a green flag it will just move for five steps and it will choose change the costume also so it looks like walking so if it is not a green light then uh, it is obviously a red light for red light also we are going to just choose the same code like this so for that let's just duplicate this code right click here duplicate it and just put it in the 
else block like this so we are going to work but we are going to say oops okay for now but uh, in our actual demo i showed you if it is it works in the red light it some kind of guard will just bash the head of this sprite so we will make that in the next part for now we are just going to say oops so for that let's just uh, drag the say hello for two seconds block like this and instead of saying hello just this sprite will say op as oops yeah okay let's uh, just uh, try our logic whether it works or not so if i press the green flag first of all it's a red flag so i won't move so it's a green flag i starts moving okay it's a red flag and it's a green flag green light okay i press it and it says oops yeah so that's the logic of the game this is how we make the sprite move and we find out whether it is uh, it moved in the red light or a green light by using this code okay now let's uh, make the um, other characters player characters supporting characters for this game so for that let's uh, just choose a sprite here let's just search for the sprite and the easiest sprite for making walk is the beer walk so let's uh, just uh, choose this sprite okay first of all let's uh, decrease this beer size so uh, let's click on the events menu and drag a wind green flag click block and next is uh, we are going to uh, decrease its size so let's uh, go to the looks menu and drag a set size block and let's decrease its size to 40 percent so if you click on the green flag the beer is a little bit smaller so that's what we want let's drag it uh, near the top corner like this so this is the initial position of the beer character and let's go to the motions menu and just drag the go to xy block like this and now let's make the beer walk also so the beer is going to walk automatically so for that let's go to the controls menu and we are going to use a forever loop let's drag a forever loop below the go to xy block and then after that we are going to wait for a certain amount of seconds okay for that uh, let's uh, drag the wait one second block like this so we are not going to wait one second but we are going to make it wait a random amount of time so for that let's uh, just uh, go to the operators menu and drag a pre a random number block like this inside the wait block and we are going to wait between one seconds to two seconds for the bear after that let's uh, actually make it walk but before uh, may, uh, making this beer walk we have to check whether it is a red light or a green light also so for that let's go to the control statement again and uh, let's just drag this if else block below the wait block and inside the forever loop like this and for checking uh, let's go to the operators menu and then drag a equals to operator inside the if block <clears throat> and again go to the variables menu and drag the light variable inside here and instead of 50 we are going to use g r e g and green so whether it is a green light or not so if it is a green line we are then we are going to make it walk yeah so for that let's go to the motions menu and drag a move 10 steps block here inside the if block and also let's go to the looks menu and drag the next costume block below the move 10 steps block so the this is it so now the beer will start walking at its uh, own random pace and it will not walk if the light is red because we have not, haven't made it to walk in the else block so let's let's see so i press the green flag so it's a red flag the beer isn't walking so if it is a green flag then it start walking yeah so it's a red flag again or a red light and it's a green light then it starts walking little bit slower yeah so that's how we make it and now let's introduce another character also in here 
so let's uh, just search for another sprite so let's go down okay this one giga walking this is another character here so let me just drag it here like this character and we just uh, copy the same code so for copying the same code we are just going to the bear walking costume or the character and just drag this whole um, script inside the giga walking like this now if we click on the giga walking we have already got the code so we only have to change this go to xy block and let's change some uh, wait time also so the giga walking costume so let's go to the motions menu and just drag the go to xy block and this is the beers go to xy block we are going to delete it let's join this whole code and also let's uh, just pick the random number from 0 0.5 seconds to 1.5 seconds so this character will work a little bit faster than the beer so let's see so if i press the green flag okay it's a red light and now it's a green light yeah so these characters start moving automatically so it's a red light and if it's a green light yeah so this is how we make other player characters walk and we have to if we have to make the character walk so we have to press the our character like this so for this uh, video tutorial this is it uh, friends so uh, next uh, in the next part we are going to make actually the um, animation of this cat sprite getting bashed by the guard one of the guards uh, in the squid game so see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to like subscribe and also give some kind of comment to my video as well Th thank you guys